What are we even doing here? That's the uh, Doobie Brothers intro. Jose Gourmet, can you believe that I've only reviewed one Jose Gourmet product on the canned fish files? Yeah, it's like months ago, it was a can of sardines. Well, now we're gonna do another thing from them. Jose Gourmet smoked trout fillets in olive oil. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I don't think we've done smoked trout yet. Yeah, we definitely haven't. And like all Jose Gourmet products, look at this cool, cool picture that they put on the front. I think this is like a trout, obviously. He kind of goes from full color to sort of sooty and ghosty. It's like he's a, you know, a ship or something like that. You know, he's like Trout Titanic or something. What do they think of next? Let's get going. I'm gonna rip this box open. Oh, so exciting. Quite expensive, these guys, right? Mm. Product of Portugal. Okay. Box is really closed. Nope. It's just as plain a little can as you can find. Open this guy up. Oh, I, I can't. I can't wait to see what these look like. Can't wait. Really, really don't know. And voila, oh man. As gorgeous a fish. <sighs> that olive oil smells so good. I mean, flip this guy over. We're about to party y'all. Oh man. Just look at it. Look at the skin. Good grief. I mean, it's all these colors. Little spots, little orange going through there. Kind of gradating from a charcoal down to a silver. I don't know how long I can talk about it without eating it, but okay, let's give it a shot. Let's see how this flakes up. It wants to just go to crack in half. Let's just let it do what it's gonna do. Skin doesn't hold together too much. Kind of goes with the flow. Here's a skinless piece. Pretty good flaking. It's not like super tender under the chopsticks. Another fish conquers. Delish. Man, it it wouldn't be so good if that olive oil didn't taste so good either. Man, let's get a fishy skin bite. Damn, that's smooth. Boy, not, I mean, to me, not fishy. Just, I don't know, that's, it's some good eating. I could, I could almost go for more fishiness, more of a colorful taste. Texture even better there towards uh, what I assume is the uh, rear of the fish getting towards the tail. I'm not sure how long these would be. I'm thinking somewhere like this and maybe, maybe they've taken three cuts out of the middle. Son of a gun. Really um, should have done something a little bit more productive with these, but. Now they don't just, they don't really come apart on the cleaves so well, so it's it's hard to play with them in that way. But what a delicate taste. What a great texture. Just, just the right amount of sort of fat towards the edges. You know, you never get a mouthful of cold fat or anything, but you know, it's there. I'm gonna take out this piece. And uh, we're gonna ditch the can. And uh, I'm gonna bring on special guest star. Some of this horseradish. Oh yeah. 
I got it for the gefilte fish video, but I don't know. I thought I might want to try it on this stuff. Cross contamination warning. Don't try it at home. Uh huh. It's good. It's a little. It's a little too strong for this. The gefilte fish that was was bland enough that you sort of wanted something like the horseradish. This has got enough going on that mm, you don't necessarily want to be overshadowed by that. Thing number two, salsa espinola. We're gonna uh, give this a shake. Put some of this on here. This might not be the thing either, but I just feel like I gotta try these things. Closer, better, still not a perfect pair. One more thing, lemon wedge. Yeah, buddy, got these on hand. Feel obligated to try it. God, just look at the skin. Mmm, yeah, that's a lot closer. Doesn't need much though. <laughs> you know, just kind of keeps the keeps the vibe going. Eating all this fish straight out of the can, have a little bit of lemon juice, the sauce around. Wow. Super high quality. Fourteen dollars is really steep, but if you're a Jose Gourmet completist, like I think I'm turning out to be. You gotta try them. If you're scraping the bottom of your monthly canned fish budget or something, uh, maybe I'd skip them and try something else. But if you're a real smoked trout fan, I don't think you'll be disappointed. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Hey, if you made it here, you're one of the real Fish Files champions. Thank you. Do me one more favor and subscribe if you haven't. And if you really like watching these videos, tell a friend about the channel. But don't tell all your friends, just one that you need a weird secret bond with. Uh, you know what I mean. Bye.